Good evening. I'm Jacopo Parvizzi, a machine learning engineer at Lotus Lab, and Vahid Seidi is an assistant professor of, uh, at the Department of Artificial Intelligence at the University of Tehran. Our mentor is Francesco Mosconi. He's in, he's in, uh, in California, and he's CEO and chief data scientist at Catalyst. So Enel, Enel is a large corporation. They operate over 30 countries worldwide, and they uh, manage a portfolio with larger than 96 gigawatts of generation capacity. Enel operates over 1.2 miles 1.2 million miles of electric network, and they operate over 100,000 remotely monitored automated substations. Substations are a critical component in the electrical grid because they transform voltage from high to low and vice versa, and they require maintenance. Predictive maintenance ensures system reliability, reduced maintenance cost, and time. Predictive maintenance gathers data from different sources, such as system data, weather forecast, sensors data. The hypothesis that we explored in our work has been, can we build a model based only on system data? Our data is, is highly unbalanced. It's composed of five million events, and uh, only 7,000 of those are faults. Each line is composed of different substations that they produce data sequentially in time. You can see it divided in two categories. The green one are the normal operation events, and the red ones are the faults. <coughs> Our model is, consists of two phases. The first phase is feature selection and feature representation. In the feature selection, we try to uh, recognize and determine the, those events that are correlated with the faults. We use three types of feature selection method. The first one is the important events from the NL. The second one is remove noisy events. And the third one is to find the closest event to the fault based on some clustering and segmentation of data and word embedding to uh, methods. For the feature representation, we need to transfer our data from text to the numerical value. Also, we need to determine some horizon for our data, prediction horizon, for example, one day ahead, seven day ahead, one month ahead, two months ahead to predict the fault. And some sliding window, the maximum number of events per window. Also, we need some feature uh, representation methods, some bag of word, TFIDF, and word embedding to convert the event from a string to the some numerical vector. For these two parts, we examine more than 900 experiments to get the good data set to fit the model. The second phase of our work is uh, models. We use most state-of-the-art model to predict fault res regard to the sequence of events. For example, we start with the some three bases models, such, random, such as random forest, LGBM, cat boost, and also some neural network methods, deep neural network. Uh, such as uh, recurrent, neural, recurrent neural network, gate recurrent unit, and also LSTM, and, all, and also some unsupervised methods, such as PCA for anomaly detection, and war embedding, and many models to find, uh, to predict in fault regard to sequence of event. But there is no signal. This is not bad news. This is very good news, because we uh, now NL no, there isn't any signal to the sequence of event to predict the fault, and they need to gather more resource, more data, and work to the some, uh, other aspect of the model. But we didn't stop here. We tried to get some uh, statistical analysis for data and uh, give good, good information about the events to the NL, for example, the probability of fault given each event, and uh, uh, we can find a relation between events respect to some uh, word embedding methods that we can score the events based on the 
distance between each event and the fault. Finally, our work, our conclusion of work can be uh, mentioned into two aspects. Uh, uh, aspect one, there isn't any signal in the sequence of system data to predict the fault. Don't pay uh, time money to predict the fault regard to sequence of event. And the second result is that uh, we have a uh, good information in, uh, uh, according to the events, regard to sequence of events that data scientists from NL can uh, investigate them and get good results for the future. Thank you, everyone.